Hey, what's up, Mom? Uh, this is my last letter home. I decided to do a video. Um, I actually started to get comfortable making videos and stuff, so, um, and I just think it's easier to just kind of just talk through everything. Um, this week was pretty cool. We, uh, our major assignment was to put together a uh, camp story, which was, I guess, like a culmination of what's been going on at camp lately. Um, a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of weird stuff. Not I haven't really told you about it, but um, you can check out my blog. Um, and, you know, find out all about that stuff. But uh, it was fun. It's it's been fun. It's been a good week. I um, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. Everything's coming to a close. Uh, I'm almost done packing. Almost almost done packing. I'm working on it. But um, this this. This whole experience, I think, was uh, one of the best experiences I've had in college. Uh, very interesting course. I mean, camp. Very interesting camp. Um, I think initially I expected, I don't want to say structure, but I, ex I expected the more traditional, like, you know, you know, you turn this in, you're going to get a 90%, an 80%, a 95%, whatever it is, you know. and. I just kind of expected something like that, where it's like the traditional like courses you take in college, and um, it turned out to be something completely different. Um, as much as I had friends who were campers in previous semesters tell me like, you know, no, no, no this class is completely different. It's completely outside the box. I don't think I never really imagined um, how it would go, but it was, it really was about just learning and and creating things and kind of expressing yourself as you go along the way on this, you know, this journey. And um, I think that was the basis of the class, which is it's very weird. I think something that we're not used to um, is our school and our coursework actually being um, <laughs> based on what we're learning and what we're experiencing. Um, it, it's about, you know, it's usually about the professor and their grading requirements and the rubric and the syllabus and this and that, but this class was really about me, I felt, and um, I think that's what really set this apart. Um, I think my work that I was most proud of um, this whole entire summer session was my uh, my Hollywood... I think the work that I was most proud of was my horror film. Um, I really, really liked that piece. I put a lot of effort, a lot of time into it, and I think it really, really um, showed very well. Uh, you can watch it again. Watch it again. So yeah, it, I think it just gets, it's like wine, it just gets better and better every time you watch it. Um, I think a lot of the skills that I learned in this class as well, uh, that I, I, you know, I feel like I'm going to use for the rest of my life in my personal blog, in, you know, my field, I am a computer science major, um, in the industry, I mean, something as, you know, as a, I think commonplace is video editing, audio editing, all these these tools and different programs that we use what um, I think are just extremely valuable. Um, whatever industry or whatever you know field you go into nowadays, I think that's a very important part of it. And uh, I think also just learning to learning to learn these tools as well was very valuable. A lot of these tools I'd never used before, and just kind of exploring them and learning them on my own really, really um, kind of expanded uh, the experience even more. Um, something I like about the class said it before, I, I just really like the class because I feel like it's about me, it's about my journey and my experiences and the things that I've learned 
and there's really no, you know, right or wrong way to do things or it's just it's just do create you know and that's it. It's not really, you know <laughs> like, you know, his creation was better than your creation. There's really no it's not that scale. It's a very it's a very personal um I guess grading rubric. Um, one thing I disliked about the class was I wish that I, as fun as it was online, I wish I could actually interact with people like, you know, weekly meets or something. Um, I think the campfires and the Twitter were, you know, tons of fun, but I think sometimes it's just nice to actually have human interaction, so. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just a little old-fashioned in that sense, I guess. Um, I, in terms of assignments, I really can't say a favorite. I think... I was definitely, um, I guess, surprised at a lot of uh, these assignments. You know, some assignments I approached were like, oh, like, okay, I just, let me just knock this assignment out of the way. And it turned out to be something I really, really, you know, put a lot of thought into or something I, that I could really relate to. Um, and that, you know, that in and of itself was interesting because I learned so much about myself and I learned so much about the media that's, that's out online. Um, something that you can view as, completely irrelevant to you or just something that I wanted to knock out almost indifferently, I ended up being, being completely passionate about, like uh, my Buffalax video or um, one of my audio stories where I had to, it was, a, it, was a, it was an audio clip that told a story and it was about a motorcycle ride and it, it turned to be something very, very, very personal to me. So uh, that was, uh, you know, it was, that was very, very interesting. I think that was part of the magic behind uh, Camp Magic MacGuffin. My fondest memory of camp, I think, was probably, um, I think, during the blackout, you know, no electricity for five days. I remember going to McDonald's to actually just hear the radio show and interact via Twitter, and that was, I mean, it was, it was fun. It was, you know, it was sticky and gross because it was hot, but it was it was still fun. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I guess, draws the conclusion to camp. It's probably my lengthiest letter home, but, um, it's just been a, it's been a very interesting and, uh, I guess, insightful journey, so, um, yeah, it's very bittersweet, but this is the end, um, alright, see you later, I'll see you in a couple hours.